Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 28th to February 3rd, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards <clears throat> I want to remind you once again that that will be a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and for that reason uh, this reading, this general reading is going to resonate in a different level, in a different way with every single different Scorpio of us, because I am Scorpio. And so for that reason, in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But ultimately, uh, you guys, just like me for that matter, has to align that general reading with uh, our personal situation and uh, to make it more as a personal reading. Now if you want your personal situation to be analyzed through Tarot by me, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video, then uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and uh, for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to uh, find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So Scorpio, we do have a narrative here that we are going to work upon. So. <clears throat> That, that this thing actually already happened to me <laughs> uh, and uh, to me it's kind of like a career oriented but uh, for you it could be as well a relationship but what's the point here with these uh, cards is that throughout this week um, January 28th to February 3rd we are to make solid foundations on which afterwards we have a huge amount of growth and as I said that is a career uh, career reading for me because me and my, I will give here an examples with me because um, me and my manager uh, had a, that conversation this morning and kind of reached to a, a new plan, new conclusion and etc etc. So it's kind of like a growth and I know that is going to happen. I know that what my manager said it, it, now with this reading it's um, it will give results, right? So generally what these cards here are pointing is that something you recently thought about or something uh, or an undertaking that you have recently planned and etc etc is actually going to yield the results that you are expecting because that with the sun card here sitting into the core of the situation that is the natural way how things need to happen the sun card always sits for the natural unfoldment into one situation additionally that will bring you peace guys the sun card is also about peace happiness it's about um, time deprived from conflicts, time deprived from wars, deprived from wrangles and etc etc. So <clears throat> what these cards are pointing is that whatever your undertaking is throughout this week or what you are thinking of doing throughout this week is going to yield, uh, yield excuse me, no conflicts whatsoever. It's important as well however to maintain your uh, your vigor and your determination and also your eagerness here to uh, bring the things to the very end because of, unfortunately with the Eight of Pentacles it will take some time of development. Things aren't going to happen over a night. It will take some practice, it will take some learning as well, it will take some adaptation and etc etc but ultimately the Eight of Pentacles here as a topic it does point that we can, we Scorpios can make what we want to make the way we want to make it. Additionally to the Eight of Pentacles, that will be the death card here, oh my god, and it's, we do have a complete change of unfoldment. So until this very moment, if we have been stumbling into one specific place with no growth whatsoever, well now things are happening for us, or rather like doors are opening for us, and the growth is going to start. So our performance or our efforts throughout the week or, or kind of like through our efforts upon the plan or upon the undertaking we have recently started in this week is going to bring the, the so needed change into our life, lucrivities lucri into our business, you know, successes into our relationships and etc etc. But as well, once again, I want to remind that this is a transformation here. It's kind of like a uh, evolution, right? And when you evolve, when you transform, it always is associated with some sort of a... Um, 
I can't say painful experience, but more like a uh, uh, a experience of sacrifice, if I may say it that way. So you you have to sacrifice one thing over another. Now in this case, maybe I will have to sacrifice some time playing video games in and more working than other way around. Because those who knows me personally, they very well know that I prefer. Um, entertaining myself than making money which is you know it's just my thing but um, that may change who knows anyway <clears throat> for you guys uh, these cards here are pointing that the time for slacking is over the more uh, efforts you put in the more results you're going to extract from and that is exactly what is going to traverse your situation so Another example here, more relationship oriented, you know, let's say that you do have a person of interest here and until this very moment that person doesn't really pay attention to you. Well, throughout this week, if you have placed yourself, uh, recently to yourself that as a goal to enthrall this person, your efforts here is going to change the environment. So that they are going to change their attitude into not interest one, into the interest one but again you will have to experiment you will have to learn you will need to learn what they like you will need to learn how they like it and etc etc so you can make what you want to make the way you want to make it and as the sun card it is displaying the natural unfoldment unfoldment of the situation the more you um, the more you push into this direction or the more you you learn and you perfectionalize yourself into that direction, the more easier it's going to become for you, the more you are going to start getting the hang of it. That is what the emperor it is, um, it is displaying here, that things are going to start becoming natively to you, they will becoming like a second nature of yours right to a point where you will be completely adapted to the new environment to the new lucrative or happy environment uh, for that matter and from there it will it will depend on on, on every single personal goal what they want to do with it you know should you uh, do you want to establish yourself let's say more lucrative goals or you are happy with where you are right now and you want to just you know spend time to um, enjoy yourself with it and etc etc but uh, <clears throat> the sun card with the emperor it does point that this tremendous amount of energy the one that you scorpio have to make difference to traverse your misfortune into fortune and etc etc is tamed and as you tame that enormous amount of energy now you can narrow it into a, a single goal and as you narrow your productive and growing and, and, and an energy of growth excuse me to a single goal there is no way that you cannot succeed it's just you need to be consistent that is the only thing asked, um, that it is asked from you to be consistent, to be uh, adaptive in learning, to be agile in learning as well, and to be open for um, how can I place it? New possibilities here, new possibilities of how one thing can be done in a different way. Right? So you should not be stubborn of certain. I cannot say expectations really, but uh, uh, of certain conditions, but you should learn how to work your way through with different means and with different uh, with different options available because it's it's not every time the situation we are finding ourselves in ideal, right? But even if not ideal, we can always or with these cards, with these energies, we will be able always to push ourselves through. It's just I cannot stress you enough here guys that your your contribution is going to matter alright and uh, it's basically is going to traverse your situation from non-lucrative or non-happier one into a, a happier one. So what you need to do throughout this week is to think about carefully which is the worst field in your life and this is exactly where you need to put your efforts in right and as you do so that misfortunate and poignant situation will quickly going to traverse itself into a lucrative or exhilarating uh, one then the next card that we do have that is going to be the page of wands 
with accompanied with a D6 uh, of Pentacles. A bit of a peculiar, um, a bit of a peculiar combination. It is what we do have here, and uh, this combination does point that the uh, natural way. I cannot say it takes time, but it takes uh, it takes narrative. It it kind of takes a planning. What these cards are pointing here is is that you may be way too scattered, right? And as soon as one thing isn't working out exactly the way you want it to work out, you might give up on it and, and start something different. Well, what we said here is that you need to th you need to try one thing from a, a different angles, right? The page of uh, the page of wands here points that you have to be open for everything new, although because it is in a negative position or it is what is going to hold you down. If you are open for everything new, that is what is going to hold you down. So whatever you have as a fulcrum, whatever you have as an idea or as a goal in the previous week or in the previous month, that is the thing that you need to push through. I mean, new option, new. Uh, kind of substitutions to it should not be the um, the option for you. It is this is the best way that I can uh, that that I can explain it. Additionally, the page this page is very proud. This page thinks that you know they are almighty on their own. Um, and uh, as the sun card, it is a card pointing that you need to bury the hatchets of war. It means that the more um, helping hand you can attract at your agenda here, at your goal, at your goal, either business-wise or relationship-wise, the better. So these cards are pointing that you should not, if you can, face what you have to face on your own. But you can definitely, definitely use a helping hand from others or use their support of your development and also, you know, having mixing their their ideas with yours just so you can um, reach to the ideal idea and materialize it with your plan because as we said your plan your plan is going to be fantastic another thing that these cards may point is that you need to maintain the hierarchy i mean that will be a problem here and if i have to give myself um, and if i have to give myself as an example um, and with my manager um, that means that I have to keep my hierarchy, recognizing that, you know, I'm not almighty on my own. And actually, I need to listen to my manager's advice because this is something I'm terrible in, you know. But it's kind of like a thing pointing here. That I need to maintain the hierarchy. I am, I'd like to think that way, that I'm good reading tarot. Well, my manager is good selling what I'm doing, all right? So, basically, we need to keep the uh the separation here you know i mean you, I, sh I should not take away what she what, what what my manager is good at and my manager should not take away what i'm good at it's just that is kind of an example so the, these cards are pointing that just because you may have a, a little bit more um exaggerated self-confidence throughout this uh, throughout this week not to overstep you know your responsibilities and your duties as well and also your performance but you should always keep track into the hierarchy that it is around yourself and allow everybody to do their job you should not do the job of others nor you should allow someone else to do your job because once again you scorpio are the one who needs to learn all right and you cannot learn if you allow someone else to do your job you gotta try on your own see where your see where the cracks are and learn how to fix those cracks so the last card that we do have for you guys or for us that will be the five of wands here with the seven of wands that is the guidance that we scorpios should follow throughout this week and what that that guidance points is that nothing is fixed nothing is carved in stones nothing is set by default these cards are pointing that we should um kind of consider uh that there will be surprises that we need to consider that we haven't thought a hundred percent um that we did uh, excuse me that we did not develop our plan to a hundred to a hundred percent and here and there shenanigans may arise right <coughs> excuse me but 
with the seven of wands here it means that we can uh, if we recognize that that we are not almighty and that we are not perfect by any means uh, we can adopt uh, let's say a more of a defensive position or rather like take a precautionary measures in order to face those surprises in a more positive way. Now instead of the, that surprise which is to happen throughout the week because the night the, the five of uh, wands is saying that we are yet to find to surprise ourselves throughout the week instead of thinking of that surprise as something which is destroying our plan we should think of it as a something that we can fit into our plan something that we can work with all right that is important because the five of uh, the five of wands here as a guidance says that we need to be um prepared or not prepared but we should expect a uh, around turns throughout the week it's so if something isn't working out the way we want it something may happen throughout the week that is going to make it work the way we want it and etc and, and vice versa as well so we should not be biased about um about the end result and as well uh we should not be biased uh, for uh for how is the right way to do one thing you know we need to be very very adaptable uh, throughout the week and yet if we put our efforts to uh, create here the plan needed in order for the natural unfoldment of our situation I do believe with the seven of wands here which is supporting the five of wands is that we will be able to very well define put definition on um, on our field, on our boundaries as well, you know, and in generally on our undertaking in such way that uh, there will be very little things that can make us worry. And we will be able to face whatever universe has in store for us in a much more positive way than if we are frantic and if we are scattered and if we jump from one thing over another as the page of wants here is suggesting that we are going to be prone to do so. Instead, you know, we need to recognize what is going to work for us and put the efforts exactly into that direction. Not what is working, but what is going to work for us, all right? That is the recognition. Because our efforts throughout the week need to, uh, or they should be focused on making change into our life. Not working upon the change that happened, but that we exert a conscious change there, changing our career, changing our relationship to a point where it becomes what we want to become. So uh, that was the tarot reading here and now uh, I'm going to shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that uh, we Scorpios should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. Alright, so the first one that is the snake, and the snake is about treachery, it's about betrayal, but also it's about cleverness, right? It's about uh, wisdom either. The next one that is going to be the moon, and the moon is about fame, it's about recognition, it is about how the other people see us. And then the next one that is the woman, or kind of like the, the lady. And the lady, it basically stands for a woman, so basically uh, here a woman is going to recognize it, recognize us as either a clever person or, or as an enemy of hers. So it will differentiate here, guys. So we are going to be recognized either as an enemy or as a clever person person i don't know how this is going to unfold for me what of those couple of events is going to take place but it could be as well either one woman could recognize me as a clever person the other one could recognize me as an enemy of hers for example if you are working for a company you know uh, your boss which is a, a woman could recognize you as a, a very clever person and your supervisor which is again woman could recognize you as an as enemy of hers because as you are a clever person for your boss you can 
uh, your boss could consider you becoming a supervisor of those that you're working with, you know. So uh, that was the tarot reading for you, Scorpio, and Lenormand one for January uh, 28 to February 3rd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. It's really a good week that is coming for us, a week that we can actually make a difference for ourselves, that we can actually finally, you know, do make something happen, either career-wise or relationship-wise, and force a change there where we are facing misfortune and where we are struggling as well. And uh, again, that was a general reading, so it will differentiate for every single one of you. And as this is a general one, you will have to adapt it to your uh, personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, just like I did for the few examples that I give for myself uh, here in this video, that is a subject to a personal reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.